All right, guys, so initially this video should have been out like a week ago, but I had to delay it more and more due to having some issues with my vocal cords, which you may actually be able to hear a bit. Now to rest my voice and to not delay the video even more, I will therefore switch to an artificial voice for this video. So before we jump into the review, the B-Loader adapter has launched last Friday for around $50 and can currently only be bought from the B-Loader website. A link to it can be found in the video description. They are based in China, so shipping can take a while, but I'm sure they will soon sell on Amazon as well, so you can avoid expensive shipping and import taxes. When it can be bought on Amazon, I will of course add some links to it in the video description. So by the time you watch this video the device might actually be on Amazon already, and there should be links to it in the video description. So what exactly is the B-Loader adapter? It's a device that allows you to use all kinds of input devices in PS5 games. As you probably already know, nowadays most games on PS5 only work with a DualSense controller. And that's a big problem if you want to use your Zim Apex, Zim Nexus, Zim 4, Titan 2 or just a regular PS4 controller. All of these become useless the moment you start a PS5 game. But thanks to the B-Loader, you can now use any of these devices in PS5 games again. And trust me, it works amazingly well. Here you can see a picture of all compatible devices. Zim Nexus is not listed yet, but I can confirm that it's working. Another device that works, but isn't shown in the picture, is the Zim 4. The same goes for the DualSense controller, which also works with the B-Loader, when connected to your Zim. So if you do not have a PS4 controller, then this is no issue at all, just use your DualSense controller instead. A pretty interesting detail here is, that the B-Loader will make your Zim compatible, regardless of the controller you are using. So you can for example also connect an Xbox controller to your Zim, although you are playing on the PS5. The only exceptions are PS4 Speciality Controllers, those are not supported by the B-Loader yet. The Speciality Controllers could be added with a future firmware update though. The previous adapter of the B-Loader company works with Speciality Controllers, so I could see them adding compatibility for those to their new adapter too. If you own a Hori Mini or a Nacon controller, then you may have to wait for the next firmware before you can use them. But given how the DualSense works, you will not have to buy a new controller for the B-Loader adapter. Now about the physical appearance of the B-Loader device. It features a typical plastic housing, with a male USB port at the front, and a female one at the back. The front connects to your PS5, or any power source of your choice. And the back is used for your gaming device, such as a Zim Apex, or Zim Nexus. Aside from that, you also have a button on the top, to set the B-Loader device into different software modes. And the status LED right next to it will notify you, in which of these modes you are, or if it detected any problems. An important information that you have to be aware of, is the following. The B-Loader device is also sold under a different name, in a different looking housing. Here you can see some pictures of it. The name is P5 Magic Adapter, and it's 100% the same product. This is quite common in the tech industry. Just think about graphic cards. Nvidia is the manufacturer but companies like Asus, MSI, or Gigabyte, rename, and sell the product. In the future, there might be more B-Loader versions of it, so keep that in mind, if you want to purchase this product. The way the B-Loader works, is by using a modified remote play solution. It connects through Wi-Fi to your network router, which will then send the inputs to your PlayStation. To reduce the delay to an absolute minimum, it strips the audio and video signal from the remote play transfer. The result is truly amazing. I measured the total delay of my inputs to around 1 to 2 milliseconds. In this scenario my PS5 was connected with an Ethernet cable to my router. And the B-Loader company told me that the maximum delay under bad conditions will not exceed 4 milliseconds, which is absolutely incredible. This is less delay than a Zim 4 has, and similar to playing with your Zim Apex on 250Hz. Now as I said, in my network the B-Loader adapter has around 1 to 2 millisecond of added lag, which is absolutely amazing. It performs as good as Sony's official PC remote play software, when used in a fully wired network setup. I would really like to know how they did that, as a Wi-Fi connection usually doesn't come close to an Ethernet cable. The aiming feels crisp and spot-on, there is no under or overshooting, 
no crashes, and even rapid scripting inputs are no problem at all. So if you use a Titan together with your Zim then this will be no issue at all. The B loader supports all Zim polling rates, starting from 125Hz, all the way up to 1000Hz. It also handles 30 frames per second games just as well as games running on 60 or even 120 frames per second. The overall experience is honestly just as good as playing with your gaming device directly connected to the console. Another big plus is that the B loader doesn't need an internet connection to transfer your inputs. So if you have slow internet then this doesn't matter as it will operate within your local network. But there are also downsides. The first one is that USB to Ethernet adapters are not supported. With such an adapter you could even further reduce the delay. Maybe they will add such a feature in the future though. Another disadvantage is that the B-Loader device will only work on the 2.4 GHz frequency. But to make up for that, the device supports the new Wi-Fi 6 standard. So I wouldn't really call this a negative, especially since a lot of routers don't even have a 5 GHz antenna. If you have a router that can send on both frequencies, then you should check if your 2.4 GHz signal is activated in your network settings. Your console can stay on the 5 GHz frequency, only the B-Loader has to use the 2.4 GHz one. In such a wireless scenario, my delay was around 3 to 4 milliseconds. For the lowest delay, I would recommend to use an Ethernet cable for the console. That way your console will also have the best internet connection. Now the only thing that I couldn't test is voice chat support. I just don't have any headset that can be connected to a PlayStation controller. I could see reasons for why a voice chat transfer doesn't work. If Remote Play bundles all audio sources to one packet, then the B-Loader adapter might strip the voice chat audio as well. Bluetooth or USB headsets will of course work without any issues when using the B-Loader device. And in case the B-Loader has no voice chat support, then you can always use a cheap USB sound card instead. So in total I am really amazed by the B-Loader adapter. It's a great product that completely surprised me. Also by purchasing a B-Loader you will automatically fund their future project, which is about cloning the PS5 security chip. This could allow them to create a PS5 adapter that doesn't even need to use remote play. A more direct solution would basically not be possible. As for the B-Loader setup, it's really simple, and it only has to be done a single time. After that, it's a plug and play device. I will show you the setup steps in the next video though, which should be out in a few days. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even subscribe to this channel to not miss out on any of the upcoming videos. Also, contrary to popular belief, this channel is not an official Zim channel. I run this channel in my free time to bring you guys the latest Zim news and tricks. So if you want to support what I do, then maybe consider to join the YouTube channel membership. Channel members usually get around 1-4 to four weeks of early access to all new videos. Plus, we also have a nice little Discord to discuss Zim settings and other stuff. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will maybe see you in the next one.